Hey guys, Zuzu Natural here. Welcome back to my channel. Guess what we are doing today? We are doing crystals for cancer. Crystals for cancer, the crab. So we are in the zodiac sign of cancer. So I got to tell you the crystals that are associated with your sign, the ones that I think are very beneficial for you. If you are a cancer or you know a cancer, and of course we all know a cancer, then stay tuned. Cancer. So happy birthday, Cancer, first of all, for anyone who is a Cancer on here. Happy birthday to you. So what can we say about Cancer, right? Cancer is a nurturing sign. So Cancer is a water sign, and uh, Cancer is known for what? Intuition, psychic abilities, uh, emotions, being emotional, a little moody, um, creative, uh, what else? Motherly imagination, like all of these words are words that come to mind when I think of cancer. And so if you're a cancer, you probably know, I think if you're a June cancer, it's associated with a pearl. And if you're a July cancer, I believe it's a ruby, right? And so that's the jewelry uh, companies trying to promote like the most expensive one to you. But there are loads of crystals that are associated with the sign of cancer. And you can choose any of them that speak to you. I'm going to tell you about three that I feel are wonderful for helping working with the personality traits of cancer today. And by the way, my moon is in cancer, just, just in case you didn't know. My moon is in cancer, so I love cancers. I get, a well, I get along well with cancers. You guys are awesome. I'm also a water sign. I'm a Scorpio, so, you know, water signs kind of vibe with each other anyway. So uh, let's get into the crystals for cancer. So the first crystal I'm going to show you that's associated with cancer is fluorite. I love fluorite. I love it. Look at that. It's so beautiful. And this is rainbow fluorite. So fluorite comes in all different colors. It really does. It comes in greens. It comes in purples. It comes in blues. It comes in yellow, right? So, but this is rainbow fluorite, which is one of my favorites. And so when I'm speaking of fluorite, I'll be talking about rainbow fluorite today. And one of the beautiful things, well, we'll get into fluorite. Let me just show you. Let me just show you right now. So this is more of a, of a greenish piece, but it also has a little blue and purple in it. And then also we have here, right? That's fluorite. How beautiful that is. That's fluorite. Just fluorite is so gorgeous, right? <gasps> look at that. Oh, look at that. Just ignore the horn in the background because I am. I live in the city. You get horns. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I wish you could just see this like in the sun. When you see the fluorite in the sunlight and you see because there's rainbows in there that you guys are not seeing. And then of course, my favorite way to use crystals is to wear them, right? So we have a fluorite bracelet. So those are just some examples of fluorite, just so you know what it looks like. Fluorite is a protective stone. It's wonderful for grounding and balancing the spirit, right? It's very useful for the emotions. And so cancer is very emotional, as are most water signs. But cancers are very emotional. So this is a really good one because you have, and this is the rainbow, you have the green, you have the blues, you have the purples, you have a little white there. That's giving you all the way from the heart chakra up. Right. So that's giving you balance of your heart. That's giving you balance of your throat chakra. Right. So finding your voice and speaking your truth. That's giving you balance of the third eye chakra. Right. That psychicness, that intuition that's giving you grounding of the crown chakra, connecting with your higher self. And so this is such a beautiful, beautiful crystal for you to have. It's a beautiful crystal for anyone to have. But for you, Cancer, this is one of the ones you want to have. And you may, you might want to wear it, right? Because you guys get a little emotional from time to time. And if you're a Cancer, please don't take that any kind of way. You know it's true, right? I told you, I'm a Cancer moon. I know it's true. So we have a bracelet. And so this might be a really good one to wear. Or maybe you just have like a pocket stone to hold or a worry stone to kind of rub. Uh, Fluoride is also excellent for anxiety and stress. And so that, I mean, who couldn't use that? Anxiety and stress, right? And so there you go. That is fluorite. This is one of my favorite crystals for you, Cancer. Fluorite. Okay, Cancer. So number two is selenite. Selenite. Look at that. Look at that. Let's just take a moment to see how magical selenite is. Let's just take a moment. Look at this. Look at that. You see that? Oh my gosh. 
I love selenite. Selenite is probably one of my favorite crystals and probably one of my most, not probably, it is my most used crystals. So that's selenite, okay? Are we, are we taking a moment, are we taking a pause just to see how beautiful selenite is? Oh, selenite is so gorgeous. So I love selenite. And of course, also, if you want to wear your crystals, we have selenite right here. This is nice because it has the chocolates going down the middle, but selenite, okay? So selenite's one of my favorite crystals. Um, I love all crystals, okay? So don't get it twisted. I know I say it's one of my favorites all the time because it's true. It's true. They're all one of my favorites, but selenite is one of my favorites and one of my most used crystals uh, because it is so versatile. It is so versatile. So for you, Cancer, selenite is uh, actually named after the Greek goddess Selene right? And so it means moonstone, not to be confused with the actual moonstone, because there is a crystal that is actually called moonstone, but sel selenite means moonstone. And so look at that. It's associated with the moon. Your planet is the moon. You are associated with the moon. And so of course, it's befitting that selenite would be wonderful for you. So selenite is associated with the crown chakra. It is healing it is cleansing. It is charging. It is replenishing. I love it. Let me tell you, for me, there is nothing that selenite cannot do. I love it. It's, it's like one of my most used crystals. So when you are feeling emotional, when you are feeling off balance, right? When you're feeling a little bothered, selenite, you can give yourself a nice auric field cleansing from all of that energetic debris that you pick up because that's what's going on. You're picking up all of this energetic debris and it's kind of throwing your emotions off balance, right? And then you're coming into contact with people and you know, it's just sometimes it could just be a bit much. So you give yourself a nice auric field bath, a nice cleansing. I like to call it a spiritual shower, right? You give yourself a nice spiritual shower and you use selenite selenite does not have to be charged or cleansed. It is naturally self-cleansing and self-charging. You can actually use this to cleanse and charge other stones, right? So if you had like a flat piece like this one, I uh, like this one, you could put your stones on top of there to cleanse and charge. And so selenite is so wonderful. It's so wonderful. If you are a cancer, this goes for anyone, but if you are a cancer, you want to have lots of selenite in the home just because it's also a protective crystal. It helps protect cleanse and charge your energy. You want to have this everywhere, everywhere. So I probably, from my collection of the crystals that I have, I have the most of selenite. Like I have so many different pieces and shapes and sizes of selenite just because it's just such a beautiful versatile stone. So that's selenite, right? Make sure you have some selenite in your life, Cancer. Make sure. Okay. Selenite. Last but not least, we have emerald, okay? And so this is natural emerald, right? Most of the times you see like the gem quality that is like super transparent and expensive, right? But this is emerald. So this is just a raw chunk of emerald, right? And this is affordable, right? It won't break your pockets. I have these in the shop. Emerald. So emerald is one of my favorites for cancer because it's a nurturing stone just like you cancer it is a nurturing crystal and you can just see from that green color right it's associated with the heart chakra and so you have that nurturing of self-love for yourself right and it helps you balance your self-love for you and your self-love and your nurturing for others so you don't feel overwhelmed so you don't feel used right it gives you a nice sense of balance for being able to nurture you and everyone around you without getting off tilt because being a nurturer sometimes can be draining if you are trying to nurture everything and everyone because you can't do that right so you have to first nurture yourself right that self-love that compassion you have to give yourself the nurturing and then you can extend it to others and emerald is really just a beautiful stone to help you with that it's also a stone of good luck prosperity and fortune so it'll help you with your intuition in attracting abundance to yourself right and abundance in all forms that's not just money that's wealth and wealth comes in many many forms right wealth of health wealth of money wealth of love and so this is just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stone for you, Cancer Emerald. So let's recap. We've got the fluorite, 
we've got the selenite, we've got the emerald. Those are the stones for cancer. And like I said, there's many crystals for cancer. These are just my three favorite. And being a cancer moon, you know, I'd like to think that uh, I'm tapped into the energy of cancer sometimes. I, I also, just in case you want more crystals associated with cancer, you can go to uh, my Instagram page. I'm always posting on there at Inner Outer Balance. You can also go to the shop. And I have cancer zodiac sets in the shop. So I have crystal sets that you can purchase. The crystal set I have for cancer in the shop has different crystals. It does have the fluorite that we talked about, but it has white agate and it has pink opal and it has snowflake obsidian. And then you get a selenite charging bar, right? So I have those zodiac sets in the shop. I also have a cancer zodiac bracelet set and it comes with fluorite, moonstone, which is a wonderful one for cancer. And it's very similar to that selenite in adventuring, which is similar to the emerald. Uh, so I also have these in the shop. So you can check me out at innerouterbalance.com. Use code YouTube Love for 10% off of your order. So that is crystals for cancer, right? So I hope you enjoyed that, Cancer. Those are crystals for you. I'm going to try to do this for all of the zodiac signs. So stay tuned for Leo coming up at the end of July. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Zuzu Natural, peace out.